One thing that I like to do when I build a client site is add some form of hover effect to hyperlinks just to make sure that the user knows that they're hovering over it and something is there basically, that, that it's an interactive element. So yes, we can have the underline, which is standard for hyperlinks, but sometimes you just want a little bit more to show the user, you know, hey, there's something interactive here. So one way that I do this is I reduce the opacity on hover. Another sometimes is changing the color. And then there's a few others that I like to use that are sort of in my arsenal. And I'm going to walk you through a few of them in this video. So without further ado, we'll go over to the screen and we'll go through them now. Okay, so we're on our site here. And what we can see is that we have a link here and a link here. And what we want to do is add a hover effect to these. Um, what I'm going to do also is just target every possible text link. So to do that, we go website and then we go into website tools and then we go into custom CSS. And to do this, we want to wrap our code in the following. And what this says to Squarespace is we're targeting H1, so header one, header two, header three, header four, and paragraph font. Then within there, we're going to say A, and that means links. So we're targeting all the text, and then within that, we're targeting links. If I was to just target the links, this would apply to buttons and other sort of uh, links, maybe on an image, for instance, which we don't want. Well, in this instance, anyway. So then we're going to say transition, and we want that transition to be 0 0.2 seconds. That's where I find it's the sweet spot. And then we're going to go and hover. So what we're saying to Squarespace there is when we hover, whatever is in that bracket happens. So for that hover effect, we'll say opacity 0 0.6. And then when we now hover, you can see we have this hover effect. And let's see, I wonder if we've got any more links down here. You can see it works on all links or all text links, should I say. So that's one effect that we can do. So you could say, I want the letter spacing to be 10 PX. And then when we hover, you can see we have this hover effect, which is cool. Or let's try one more. So we can say we want it to change color. So we say color and then we'll say blue. When we hover, actually maybe that needs important. And then when we hover, you can see it turns blue. And just because I'm nice, I'll do one more. So we've got another one that we could do on our text is margin padding left and then 10 px again. And that just shunts the link forward a little bit. And for that to work on the header fonts, for some reason we need to add important. So just make sure you add the important tag at the end of that. And if you wanted to put it all together, we could go opacity 0.6. And we could say letter spacing. And then I think we had that at 10 px. And then color blue. And let's just put important on all of these. And then now when we hover, we get everything all at once. So you can pick and choose whatever you want to do. If you want to go with something completely different, you can use this template and just replace all of this with whatever you want that hover effect to be. Hopefully you found that useful, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.